Hello Aquarius, this is your December reading for the year 2021. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I kind of like doing these monthly videos because I feel like I can do like little one-on-ones with my Zodiac babies. So Aquarius, you've been going through quite the struggles a lot lately. Um, intuitively, I picked some crystals and some symbolism for you. Um, everything that you need to know about me or everything you want to know about me is down in the description box below. And also, I have a link tree that uh, gives you all of the information on if you want to book a reading, if you want to make a donation, if you want... To follow me on other social media platforms. All of that is down below of what you need to know. And I appreciate you for being here. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so and give me a thumbs up if you like your video. All right, so moving on. The crystals that I was intuitively drawn to for you, Aquarius, is... Celestite and Selenite. This is also green of entering. And I always pick these uh, because it has the zodiac readings. And these are for sale on my uh, online store. And that link is down below as well. I also picked a bluebird. So, Celestite is about tapping into your intuition. Celestite is very strong for um, having hope. If Celestite was a tarot card, it would be the star. So, it's like having hope, having healing, tapping, tapping into your intuition. Kind of like a breath of fresh air. You getting to know yourself, getting to know who you are, what you want and tapping into your spirit guides and your higher self. So for some of you, Celestite could be a benefit. Um, if you go to your local uh, crystal shop, they may have some, um, if you're interested in purchasing any. Um, same thing for Selenite, if you're interested in getting any um, I, this one, this one was actually gifted to me from my sister, but, um, they do sell them online and also local crystal shops. If you buy anything online, make sure that you are, um, making sure, make sure that it is legit, like it's from a legit place. So... Celestite is all around, uh, all about you tapping into who you are, your own intuition, you trusting yourself, you doing what you need to do for you in order to go forward, in order to excel. Selenite is all about cleansing yourself, keeping away toxic, only allowing in positivity. I feel like you have been cleaning a lot out of your life, a lot has been um, removed. And I feel like that you are in the, in the works of placing new and positive changes within your life. So it's all about that transition. Green of entering is really good for tra transitions, getting in touch with your heart, getting in touch with what you want, and getting in touch with uh, the truth of what it is that you need or or want in your life. As far as the bluebird, I feel like I was drawn to include this as well. Um, once again, another gift from my sister. Um, bluebirds are about transition. It's also about reminding you of your ancestors, reminding you that you are divinely guided, reminding you to have hope and... Um, the song True Blue just came into my mind. I know it's kind of funny for me to think about that song. It's a Madonna song. Go look it, go look it up. Madonna, True Blue. Um, so it's like, um, 
just really getting in touch with that. And also blue represents your throat chakra. So, you know, making sure that you're speaking your truth, making sure you're speaking it with honesty and put some base into it, you know, make sure you're being heard, make sure you're being understood and don't let anybody um, try to talk you out of being who you are and don't let anybody talk you out of going for what it is that you want to go for in your life. So we are going to go ahead and get started with the card reading. All right, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Aquarius babies? That was kind of loud. What messages do you have for my Aquarius babies for December 2021? What kind of December is Aquarius going to have? So far, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the World, we have the Magician. Oh my gosh, that's powerful already. I just got chills. Okay, we're going to take all, yeah, we're going to take all these. Could have sworn that another one flipped over. Nope, it didn't. I thought it did. It did not. All right. So we're going to take all of these. We're going to take them as they come. I'm not just going to flip over. We're going to do six at a time. Let's see what happens with this. All right. So we have the three of pentacles. We have the world. We have the magician. We have the page of wands. And we have the ten of cups. One more. And the six of swords. All right. Make sure you can see them all. Okay. And then we have three that's left over right here. And I will be pulling these over in just a moment. And then we, we will draw three more. All right. So with the three of Pentacles, it tells me um, that you are going to be collaborating. You're thinking about business. You're talking with business associates. I feel like you could be making new friends um, of you know, like-minded friends. Like you're getting to connect with people who are more like-minded uh, than your normal set of friends. So it's almost like a, a, a new thing for you. Whenever the, the world comes up, I always think of Aladdin, a whole new world. I say it every single fucking time. I always will. <laughs> because that's what it reminds me of. That is really how I resonate with that card. So I feel the reason why I feel like you're meeting new friends, you know, that's a whole different level to what you're used to doing is because the world card came after the three of pentacles. So you're getting to know like-minded people. You're getting to know uh, people who are more in your uh path for business like okay this is a creative person or okay this person you know does the same thing I do you know and you're just connecting with them on that level and it's a whole different thing for you because you know if you're used to trauma bonding with people and this is coming from spirit if you are used to trauma bonding with people this is entirely different for you because the whole new set of friends that you're starting to make are people that don't need you to fix them. They are fixing themselves. And you're just like, what? How do I handle this? How do I deal with that? And you're learning. You're learning as you go along to just exist. And you're realizing that people like you because of you and not what you can do for them. 
or not because they want you to please them in some kind of way or not because you're bending and living the way they want you to live. You know, these are authentic people that is being sent in your way. Um, that is going to show you that you are accepted, you are loved just the way that you are. And there's no extra shit that you have to do. And so I feel like this, this is something that you have been manifesting, whether it's been with love, whether it's been with friendships, whether it's been with connections, however it is that you look at it. But this is something that you have been manifesting into your life you have been manifesting your soul family. You have been manifesting your um, your spiritual family, your, you know, your uh, village, if you will. You know, people that you can rely on and people that, you know, they're not going to enable you, but they're going to support you in your own growth, you know? So with the Page of Wands, this is like a spark of an idea. This is motivation towards an idea. You could be brainstorming. You could be um, taking notes on something of, okay, this is what I'm going to do. But now I'm in the plan making stage. Like I'm going to write this down. Some of you might need a vision board. Getting a vision board together. Um, just writing down what it is that you want to do, check marking it off as you progress, you know, as you do each one, you're check marking it off um, and you're moving more towards the goals that you are manifesting for yourself. With the Ten of Cups here, I feel like you are manifesting a very secure, loving utopia of a life. You want the spouse, you want the partner, you want the family, you want the sense of home, you want that uh, feeling of being accepted, you want that feeling of, uh, you just want to be able to sit back and breathe and not have to worry about performing for somebody. It's like you want to be your authentic self and I feel like that you are really manifesting those people into your life. This is like a whole new different way of living for you. What you are hoping for and what you are manifesting is something you're going to have to get used to. We have the six of swords here of you like packing your bags and you're moving forward and you're leaving the past behind. And the thing is, though, is that you're going to have to fight certain feelings of running away from positivity. And the reason why I say that is because when you have gone through so many hard things for so long, you can tend to um, be scared of the good things coming. You don't know whether to trust it. How long is it going to be there? When is it going to, you know, the thought that came into my mind of you asking yourself the question of when is this going to hurt me? And so it's like you start getting hyper vigilant or you start getting scared or you start putting a wall up and you start wanting to run or you might even want to ghost a certain situation that doesn't deserve it because you might be freaking out. The thing that I can offer for that is try to take one thing at a time, one step at a time, one minute at a time. And if you have to break that shit down to one second at a time and be aware about this when it comes to yourself. And if it comes to your friends or if it's a, a new love that gets brought into your life or a new friendship that you need to um, hold on to, or if it's a, if it's a brand new friendship that you need to respect and actually have in your life, it wouldn't hurt to address this and say, okay, there's times that I ghost. There's times that I take time out. Don't take it personal. If I don't answer you back right away, that means I'm having a freak out moment, but I will work it out. You know, it doesn't hurt to be aware and it's not a weakness to let somebody know that this is a possible way that you could be. As things are getting better for you, you could be going into more freak out modes that makes you want to run from it. But 
you know, for others, this card is just really meaning about you grasping onto your future, moving on from the past, and you are just going for it with a clear mind, clear head, and you have your eyes on the prize, and you're just going for it. So we're going to find out what these other three cards are. Yeah, see, I already talked about this. The Eight of Swords the Five of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. And I think that this goes more towards what I was talking about. You feeling, you could be feeling fear, you know, about the good things that happen to you to where you could be closed off. And it could put you back into certain situations of, let me go for what I know. Let me go for what's comfortable to me. The five of wands is about non-supportive people pointing at each other, placing the blame. So if you're around people who are just not on board with what you're doing, but you, you know, these could be literal family members that are just like, I'm not going to support what you're doing. What you're doing is ridiculous. And you could be finding yourself feeling so heavy with their negativity with the ten of wands here you know that it makes you want to retract it makes you want to um withdraw into yourself it it makes you want to put things in a hold and it's it's like a very deceiving nature or it's a very deceiving person who keeps popping in and naysaying what you're doing you know, and you may be taking this to heart because these are people that you love or these are people that you were raised around or these are people that you've had around you for a long time as friends. And so you might be feeling the weight of them not being supportive. But keep in mind, the friends that you have manifested, the new family you have manifested, the new love you have manifested, they are all there for you. And you may not have a whole lot, but they are there. Keep in mind that blood does not make family. It just means that you are connected by DNA. Family is what makes family. And I think you know what I mean by that. See, here is the Five of Pentacles. And here is the Two of Wands. All right, so the Five of Pentacles is you feeling alone. So there's going to be certain times that you feel like you're unsupported. You're going to feel like you're alone. You're going to feel as if, am I the only one moving forward? Maybe I need to go back and live in the past again just to feel accepted. There was something that I heard on TV the other day. Um... And I actually uh, posted this on my Facebook page too. Somebody said that they had stayed in a relationship for 10 years. They faked it. That's what it was. They faked it for 10 years because at least for that 10 years, they were loved and accepted. And my answer to that is, yeah, you were accepted by the wrong people who did not accept you for your authentic self this is going to be a struggle for you your your um your whole thing that you are needing to learn from this is the self-love and that you can do this on your own and you do have support it may not be from the people that you want but you are getting it and that's the hardest part right there, too. You may want love from a certain person, or you may want love and acceptance from another person, this, that, and the other, okay? You have somebody in mind. It's like this. I want love from this bluebird. I want them to love me unconditionally. I want it from them. It's their job to do it. But then Spirit says no. You're not going to get it from the bluebird. You're going to get it from this amethyst angel. You're going to get it from who I provide to you. You know, that's what spirit is saying to you. That is what your greater divine is saying to you. And not only are we going to give it to you in this amethyst angel, but we're also going to give it to you in this selenite heart. 
So don't be so focused on the bluebird of making, you know, don't get so focused on your ego of wanting it and having it, needing it from that bluebird. Because if you're manifesting love and you're manifesting support, recognize where you're getting it from versus recognize that you're getting it versus recognizing who you're getting it from is what I'm trying to say. Okay, because look, not only are you getting love from the amethyst and the selenite, it's way more than what you would have been getting from the bluebird. And that's why spirit is giving you double, even triple. Like, look at the size compared to, you see? So, yeah, you may have wanted the love from this bluebird. But Spirit said, no, that's not enough. I'm going to give you double what you asked for because that's what you deserve. And that's that's a good way of looking at it. You know, you might be looking at something that was only 25 cents, but Spirit is going to give you something that was worth $5. And I think you know where I'm going with this. So, in the hardship times... You're going to wish that you had that support from the people that are closest to you. But you are getting some kind of support. You definitely are. So make sure you're recognizing and seeing what you actually have versus what it is that you quote unquote want. And know that the Ten of Wands is an end of a cycle. So... You know, you're going to get to that mountaintop and you're going to drop all those boxes. You're going to drop all those wands and you're going to be able to see the beautiful view. With the two of wands here, that is you possibly being indecisive about what path you want to go down. You know, which way you want to go. How do you want to continue going forward? But just make sure you're being aware of what you're already being offered. You know, um... Make sure you're being true to yourself. With the Five of Swords, it, it's a it's a way of feeling like, um, you know, are you being honest with yourself? Are you being honest with others? Are you doing what you need to do for yourself? You know, um, are you taking self-care? You know, are you just focusing on loss versus focusing on the wins that you could be having? You know, I really think all of this is like a big mindset of how you look at things versus what's really going on. If you see the lesson in things and you see everything that's, that is being brought to you so you can have the experience to build yourself up later... Everything is happening for a reason. It's happening to get you ready for something greater. It's happening happening so that way you can get knowledge. That you can use at a later time. There is a reason why you're going through what you're going through. So you may be feeling as if you're going through a lot of losses. But... You are manifesting something great. And I know that you that you are really, 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 really wanting certain things. But this month for you, it's, it's going to be a really good month. But you might not feel as supported as you want to feel. Are there any other messages that you have for Aquarius baby spirit? Is there anything else Aquarius needs to know? And I'm not surprised, Ten of Swords, because you do have the Ten of Wands. You know, the Ten of Swords is about feeling like somebody deceived you, like somebody stabbed you in the back. You know, there's going to be certain people that you're looking at, and you know what they're about, Aquarius. You know what they're about. And you do feel like they have deceived you. You do feel like they have stabbed you in the back. But this is not anything new for you. You are feeling the depression of the loss. But here's the question. Have you really lost them? Have you really lost them? 
did you ever have support from them in the first place? There is a Queen of Pentacles that comes in that's going to help ground you. You could be dealing with an earth sign or this could be you grounding yourself and getting yourself together. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is all about love, nourishment, growth, stability. And I feel like this, uh, this person, or even if it's within yourself, is going to help you ground and see certain things. That's going to be your support system. This could also be spirit, you know, coming in and saying, hey, Queen of Pentacles, judgment, cutting to the truth with the King of Queen of Swords. So I definitely feel as if you are going to grow from these things. You are going to grow. You're going to use your own discernment. You're going to judge what you need to judge. You know, judgment is really about balancing things out. The Queen of Swords is also, you know, about like, and this could be you all day. The Queen of Swords is about cutting through the truth. It's about going forward. It's about, you know, what can I do to get to the truth and how am I going to go forward with this? Some of you could also be going through a legal matter when it comes to that judgment card. But for some of you, it's just about having a neutral stance and thinking things out and going forward with that judgment. Wheel of Fortune. Got the Wheel of Fortune coming. The Wheel of Fortune is coming. And see, whenever the Wheel of Fortune comes out, I look at that as you have so many beautiful things coming out. And they're going to come out when you least expect it. In divine timing. It's not when you say. It's when divine says, okay, we're going to put this out there. We're going to give this to you now. I feel like you could have a lot of moments this next month, especially with the holidays coming up, where you're going to be like, when is this going to happen for me? It's it's really heavy. This is really hard. But I do feel like you're going to be making a lot of judgment calls, you know, as to um, should I take certain advice? Should I not take certain advice? You know, for some of you, if you are dealing with an earth sign, you know, they could be helping you get up and pull these swords out of your back. They could be giving you advice. They could be connecting with you. And you're using that judgment to, do, should I listen to them or should I not? Are they being authentic? Are they not? But you're going to cut to the truth of it. Whatever it is, you're going to cut to the truth of it. And it's going to surface itself the way it needs to. Because you're going to get your sharp vision back. And you're going to say, okay, I can I can listen to the Queen of Pentacles because of this, this, and this. Or you can say, um, I'm not going to listen to the Queen of Pentacles because of this, this, and this. This is you using your own intuition and your own judgment about doing what you need to do for your own life. So, you know, that's a whole different scenario on that too. But either way, it's going to help you get to the truth of whatever it is that you need to get to the truth about. And your will of fortune is going to happen for you, Aquarius. And it's going to happen in divine timing as you progress, as you keep going. Just know that this is basically spirit reminding you to have faith in the process, to trust the process, to know having blind faith is the biggest thing of all. Right there. So that's what I have for you for December. And I'm going to pull some angel message cards. Okay, angel message cards first, and then I'm going to pull some moonology cards.
And the Moonology cards is more about, um, what's the word? Um, manifestations. They're manifestation cards. All right, Spirit, what lovely angel messages do you have for my Aquarius babies? have a lot of things coming great to you Aquarius healing the heart I'm not surprised close encounters and the storyteller all right so for those who are into numerology we have 23 we have 10 and we have 17 so healing the heart is all about what I was telling you, how you are using your own discernment of healing yourself and still going along the path and the journey that you want to follow. So I do feel like you are paying attention to what your heart is saying. You are not trying to stay in a painful situation. I do feel like you're going to um, start using your own judgment when it comes to connections in your life. You're going to see what is truly in your corner and what isn't. There are going to be things that come to light where you're like, damn, I didn't see that before. And I really feel like, you know, um, spirit wants to remind you that the healing process is whatever it is that you make it. So you can learn from it, take it as the lesson that it is, and you can go ahead and move on from it. Make sure that you take the process to mourn what you need to mourn or, you know, if you even need to mourn it, make sure you're taking time to process your feelings. Make sure that you're paying attention to what your feelings are telling you. Close Encounters is all about transitions of you tapping into your own intuition, you tapping into your spirit guides, tapping into your own energy field. Does this feel right? Um, is this something that I need in my life? Do I need to cut this out? Do I need to keep it? So it's really a process of you like really turning into um, somebody who's even more intuitive than you already are. I know that most of you are probably extremely intuitive already. The hardest part about being intuitive is paying attention to your own intuition and not downplaying it. Storyteller is all about, if you look at it, it is a book that has no words on it. There is a lock right here in the middle and the key is right here. All right. So you are still writing your own book. You are in charge of where you go. If you go through a heartbreak, it's something that you put yourself through. What I mean by that Is that if you are coming across people that you know or if you're keeping people in your life that you know are not for your greater good then you're you're making up your own heartbreak it's you not paying attention to your intuition and I'm talking about when it comes to people that you already know I'm not talking about people who come into your life and then they end up being assholes and they end up doing this that and the other I'm talking about people that you already know that they may act like they're for you, but really they're not. Um, you're writing your own book. You have your own lock and key. You are writing your own success, your own success stories right now. Even though you may not feel like <laughs> they're going to be successful, but they are going to be successful because you have so many things coming towards you. Bottom card energy is beautiful uncaging and look. 
there's another lock. So you're unlocking different sections of yourself. You're unlocking different sections of your intuition. It's getting to the point of anything that you go through because your intuition is so high that you know what's coming to you, Aquarius. You know what's coming to you and sometimes you turn a blind eye to it and sometimes you don't. And this goes with the good and the bad things because you are an empath. empath. You know, um, you are an empath. You probably feel energies. You feel vibes. You feel certain things that might be off, but then you go along with them anyway. So this is just a reminder that you are getting to a point where it's like, if something feels off and you don't pay attention to your intuition, you're setting yourself up for failure. It's really about you tapping into that intuition and making sure that you're actually listening to it. And instead of setting yourself up for failure, set yourself up for success. But I do feel like you are totally breaking out. Because if you look at this card, it's like, okay, yeah, there's a lock and key and there's a book. I'm writing that book for myself. But look at all this energy that's busting out of here. You are busting out of your own, own mold. You are having a Phoenix rising moment. You definitely are. This is about you setting yourself up for success instead of setting yourself up for what other people want you to do. All right. So we're going to pull some manifestation cards and then we will close out the reading. Spirit, what manifestation messages do you have for my Aquarius babies? been like only picking like two or three but we're gonna take all of these wow <laughs> that's amazing hold on this one is stuck wow So it's very, very, very apparent that some of you could be dealing with an Aries, um, but doesn't have to be. I'm only going off of the cards because if you see, everything that came out is Aries. And these are very well shuffled cards. Very well shuffled. Well, you saw me shuffle too. And plus, I've been using them. And also, some of you may have cancer placements or or maybe you have Aries placements. Um, some of you could have cancer placements or dealing with the cancer. And once again, it doesn't have to be. Don't tie the Zodiac with it if it doesn't apply to you. So, the advice or the manifestation cards is... New moon in Aries, go for it. Full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. First quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. Last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. I really feel like that is exactly how it should be. Like Spirit said, this is your, the way that you should do it. This is even in, in order of how you should do it. Go for it. Cool your emotions. Get yourself in check. Step into your power. Have that confidence to know that you're doing something right for yourself. Work through your feelings of everything that you're cutting out and work through your feelings of everything you're allowing into your life. And then the last card with, with cancer here, first quarter moon and cancer, push through any insecurity. That's powerful. That is extremely powerful, Aquarius. 
you have a very, very empowering month coming up. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say it's going to be entirely easy with a bunch of roses and sunsets. But it's going to be a fiery one and I feel like you're going to find your place. You're going to you're going to kick some ass when it comes to this. And I don't think you're going to fold. You're going to have moments, but all those moments that you feel like you are um feeling all those moments that you feel like you're being weak is really when your strength is building up the most. Yeah. So if you don't already have Celestite, I recommend you get some so you can get in contact with your higher self, your own intuition, you strengthen it. If you already have contact with your higher self and with your intuition start listening to it and trusting it take it to the next level of learning yourself absolutely now i understand why i was drawn for that crystal same thing when it comes to selenite make sure you are cleansing out all the bad things in your life filter it out that is not going to uh serve your greater good i'm not just talking about the people, you know, like, don't, don't think I'm just saying that once you remove the people, all is well. No, you have to process and work through your feelings. You have to push through your insecurity of being alone. You have to go for it. You have to feel your power and know that you, everything that you want, everything that you need is already within yourself. You tapping into it. You tapping into it. Okay. Green of entering, new beginnings, opening that heart chakra, being true to yourself, following what you need to follow for yourself. The bluebird, listening to your, your spirit guides, listening to your spirit family. They're guiding you and they're leading you for a reason. You need to get back in touch with them, meditate on it, get back in touch to manifesting what it is that you are trying to bring forward. Bring it home, Aquarius. You're right there. Bring that shit home. Bring it in. Okay? So that's what I have for you for the month of December. I am sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection on your journey. Please comment. Let me know if you like your video. If you do like your video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Share if you want to. And, um... You're going to have a fabulous month. I'm really excited to see where this goes. All right. I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Take care.